Boss, I've been meaning to tell you something. Our old friend Zero hasn't been seen in public since you left the States. That was over ten years ago now. You suspected he was responsible for the accident at your base in the Caribbean. But at that point, Zero was already bedridden. So it never felt right to me that Zero gave the order. Now that I've seen the man Emmerich was working for, I'm sure he didn't. I know that man. He was our old friend's XO. A man without a face. Not one you want to look at, anyway. Skullface. He's the one who destroyed your base nine years ago. The unit he commands, XOF, was Cypher's strike force. But he's since split from Zero and used XOF to usurp control over Cypher itself. In other words, the Cypher we're hunting isn't Zero. Beyond Zero is a void that's even darker. Skullface. Hello everybody, Tartax here, and you guys just saw that, so we, yeah, we know it was Skullface who, you know, did that, but we, we knew that from the beginning, because we saw it, you know, when you played Ground Zeroes, you see who it is. Um, so, I haven't told you guys this, but this is all in one day. All the recordings you've seen have been the same day, uh, that's because Valentine's Day is coming up, and I have work non-stop up until then, and Valentine's Day, uh, I'm not going to have any time to record, because he... I'm gonna spend time with my wife and stuff, and yes, I, you know, you guys know I'm married and all that good stuff. So, all this recording's in one day, but let's go ahead and play some Metal Gear. Yeah. So, we've got com com uh, some cassette tapes, Please but select a we don't have time to listen to them. So, Pitch Dark. This is going to be our first mission over in Africa, which I like Africa. I just wish there was more jungle to it. There's not enough jungle for me. I wish there was some more forest and jungle areas. It's just... It's just a lot of open land, which I hate. Now, we don't necessarily need a vehicle. Um, I'm going to change the suit, though. To... Whoops, what am I doing? There's something more fitting. Woodland. There we go. Yeah, that's awesome. That's cool. Sweet. And then... That's all I need. And I can bring the horse ASAP, I guess. And I've still got my coffee. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I've got a certain um, pattern that I was following that I stopped following that I'm going to start following again, if you understand what I said. So I had a pattern. I stopped following it. I'm getting back on it. It's going to be like uh, so we had Metal Gear. Uh, Outlast, Alien Isolation, Metal Gear, uh, Alien Isolation, Outlast, right? No, it was Outlast, Metal Gear, Alien Isolation. Okay, so, starting today, it's going to be... I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. I have to look it up. There's going to be a pattern, just so you know. Downstream have no drinking water. That sucks. That sucks. Well, that kind of shit happens, you know. The oil runs to the pipeline from that facility. Taking it out should end the leak. The client this time is an environmental NGO. Destroy the facility. Stop that leak. This may seem like straight up philanthropy, but there's another reason we agreed to it. The Mathinda oil field was outdated, abandoned. Then the rebel group United moved in, taking it upon themselves to kickstart operations. United's been rapidly modernizing its arsenal. Rumor has it someone's been selling them U.S. military hardware. Intel's analysis suggests the broker's a front company, Cyphers. Keeping tabs on United can tell us who's pulling its strings. Man, Cypher's got so many ties, man. That's like some Illuminati type shit right there. I'm telling you. That's like, if you're trying to figure out what Cypher is, basically Cypher is the Illuminati. That's basically what it is.
Let's go. First, make your way to the oil facility. It's to the north, past Wala Yamasa. The village is currently on The war industry we started has taken a pretty crooked course these past nine years. With no other options, soldiers have become dogs of war, sent to conflict zones as private forces, or PFs. Guys we fought alongside are dying all around the globe for no reason. No banner. But it's how they survive. The demand for PFs here in Africa is especially high. Cold War standoffs, resource exploitation, tribal clashes. What's big business for developed countries has only brought conflict here. That mess you're standing in is just the latest account. You've arrived at Massa Village. <laughs> I keep doing that. Into a supply hub for Unida. Meaning it'll be stocked with weapons and resources. Analysis Should be a thing or two that'll come in Analysis handy. Complete. Don't be shy. They deserve to be in better hands. The map has been updated. Perfect. So, if you do move ahead too far, you'll, you'll kind of like... He'll say something else, so it'll kind of interrupt itself. It's cool how they designed the game that way. He'll be like, uh, and then he'll start saying something else. You know, like, uh, um, like he was saying something, and then, yeah, there we go. Perfect. But, um, well, there was something else to say. So, the sneaking suit, the reason I switched to this one is because it blends in better. I can move around better. I can crawl and not, you know, be seen. The sneaking suit, it's, you can still see it pretty well. The, re the reason it's called the sneaking suit though is because it eliminates your footsteps while you're crouched. So you can like straight up run straight towards them and they won't hear you. But with this, yeah, they'll hear me, but it it's bitter camouflage. But trust me, it is useful having that sneaking suit because you can like run above like, on top of them, say if you're upstairs. You can do that and they uh won't hear you, which this they would, so like you really have to walk all over the place when you're doing stuff like that. And there is something we want to grab here. I'm surprised I got to see his teammate just fly away on a balloon when he was only that far away. Is there is oh you saw me. So there's a document or not a document, uh a uh, a thing a thing. There's a blueprint somewhere over here that can be used for uh, D-Dog. Wherever the entrance is. It's got to be this one right here. It's got to be, right? No, it's not. Shit, okay. There's this though, we can grab this. Is he coming over here? I think he might be. No, he's not. We'll go ahead and crawl. We need to find I wanna find that because I'll end up forgetting to grab it. Because that's what I do. Wait oh hey, it's gotta be I have the I think it's in here, yeah. We're gonna wait for this guy to pass by us though. Go ahead, go on, Sally, get out of here. Cool. There it is. Oh no, this is diamonds. And then it is. Where is it? Crap, man. I was damn near sure it was in there. Crap, okay. Well, where could it be? That is the question. I already checked in there, I'm pretty sure I did, right? You checked in here? Man, where the hell is this thing? I ain't trying to waste your guys' time, but... Damn, I didn't know it was going to be that hidden. Okay, whatever. Screw it. I'll come back later and get it. All it is, it's, it's uh, um, 
it's called a medical medical uh, document or something like that. Actually, I think it is a document. And what it does is uh, it allows the full ton a full ton device type thing that DDoc can use, which I think is like infinite too. It's, it's infinite full tons that he can use. But it still costs GMP to use, so 300 GMP each time he uses it. And we are going to go... I think there's a bunch of child soldiers down there. Which we... Under normal circumstances, we totally would. My nose, again, my god, it's so itchy. Uh, we um would full-time extract them, because, you know, kids, that's messed up not to. But we don't have um, the right full-ton equipment to full-ton them. It would destroy their little bodies. So we have to wait till we can develop that and do it. Now, I really do like this mission. It's really cool. It's just... Africa, I wish there was more forest and stuff to it. I wish it was denser, I should say. So now we can steal their car and be on our way. So it's actually pretty easy to get to over here. What we need to do is get up here though. So time to drive. And actually while I'm driving, I'll put on this. You made it past the village. I'm gonna hit that tree. For the oil facility. It's located what the river. Oh oops, I did the wrong thing. Cassette tapes and then Okay, quiet and questioning Huey. We'll do that one. I'll be quiet. Back in the Caribbean, every eye in the world was turned on us. A private army, just a bunch of guys with guns, in possession of a nuke. Why wouldn't they be uncomfortable? And that's why you made sure the inspection happened. Well, I thought our... The Fender oil field is the property of Saner, South African Natural Resources. Shut up, dude. Saner drills oil wells wherever they can throughout that region. And when the oil dries up, they abandon the facility. And it's only a matter of time before the aging equipment starts leaking crude. That means United's takeover is the perfect cover for Saner. Now they can blame the spill on a bunch of oil thieves. However you look at it, Saner's far from squeaky clean. Okay, there we go. A private army. Just a bunch of guys. What a douchebag. In possession of a nuke? Why wouldn't they be uncomfortable? And that's why you made sure the inspection happened. Well, I thought our best move was to prove to the UN through the IAEA that we had no nuke. I can't drive. Course, I can't drive at all. Against us having it in the first place, but that was Snake's decision. The boss wasn't responsible. Well, don't get me wrong. I I still believed in Snake. I thought I was making the best decision for all. There of it is. The oil facility. To stop the leak, you need to shut down the oil transfer pump and destroy the oily water separator tank. The details are on your iDroid. National authority. <laughs> so the truth is, you took it upon yourself to agree to an inspection arranged by the UN. Only the inspection was a rain. And Cyprus the sound of rainfall should help to mask your footsteps. I had no idea that would happen. Enough bullshit. Oh, sure, like I could have known. You know, I was just trying to prove our innocence to the world. What's wrong with that? We're not interested in the excuses you thought up. The truth is objective. Just see it from my point of view. You led XOF to the control tower. They seized it, giving them complete control over the base. Moments later, they detonated C4 on the strut legs. Anyone who'd managed to survive was hunted down by the assault force and their choppers. You can't believe I did that on purpose. That was the end of Mother Base. But it wasn't the end for you. How can you... Look, think about it. I lost something too. I built Zeke and it got buried underwater. I am a victim. That raises the big questions. Why were you the only one spared? You got away without a scratch. Why did Strange Love leave the base on the eve of the inspection? You two were close. Strange Love? <laughs> and how did you manage to build something that surpasses Zeke in every way? Because you did everything they told you. <laughs> You're the only one who didn't lose a thing. That is the truth. I was taken away against my will. Skullface forced me to do his research these past nine years. 
He used me. I lost nine years. Nine years? We all lost nine years. It wasn't just you. I suppose blaming me makes you feel better, does it? But who's gonna give me back all the time I lost? You're not getting anything back. <laughs> You're not a victim here, Emmerich. You're the perpetrator. I didn't know anything. Nobody can back that up. Yeah, all the evidence is at the bottom of the ocean. You know the hardest man to break. The type who's... I'm letting this play so you guys can kind of understand what's going on. For those of you who don't play this. convenient lie than a painful truth. Is that the piece you've chosen, Doc? I'm not lying. Of course. Just let me check one or two things. On that day, you were in the control tower with them. Lucky you. That's how you got out unscathed. And you escaped on one of their choppers. Only you, right before the base went under. They had me blindfolded the whole time. I've never been so scared. The whole <laughs> flight, I thought they'd kill me. But, but thinking of you kept me going. My comrades, all the way. And? There was a plane journey, and then we traveled by road. When they finally took off the blindfold, I was in kind of a warehouse, on the floor. Afghanistan, it was that research lab. I couldn't believe they'd taken me halfway around the world. And soon enough, he came. Skullface. He's the one who's really behind that mother base attack. Not Damon. He forced me into that research. What kind of research? He told me to build a bipedal walking tank for the Soviet Union. Like Peace Walker. A system that could fire an ICBM-class nuclear weapon. That's how the Sahelanthropus project got started. Sahelanthropus. Those AI weapons I'd made in Costa Rica were like toys by comparison. A whole world apart from reptilian four-legged crawling and, and that ridiculous hunched-over bipedal waddling. My design evolved to the dawn of mankind. Sahelanthropus, the first steps towards humanity. An upright bipedal weapon system. Originally, Sahelanthropus was going to be a manned weapons platform. I designed a cockpit in its head and I planned to fill it with water as a buffering agent. Like how Paz modified Zeke for human control. Don't compare me to some amateur. I designed it for human control from the beginning. The problem was miniaturizing the posture control AI. You remember the reptile pod? The AI that controlled your unmanned weapons. Attaching it externally makes it vulnerable, so this time I wanted it beneath the armor. Meaning I had to make the AI smaller. I got it down to less than a tenth the size without any loss in computation speed. But it was still too big for the cockpit. There wasn't enough room for the pilot. If I made the head bigger, its body would have to be bigger to support it. It's too big to be practical. In the end, human piloting was taken off the table. I tested a remote control system too, but there was the time lag and I wasn't satisfied with its precision either. Plus, it would be useless if the enemy jammed it. So next, I went back to trying an AI-only system. To do that, I had the AI pods recovered from Nicaragua. This was a hybrid AI, a combination of Peace Walker's reptile and mammal pods. The only AIs that had ever successfully operated an unmanned nuclear weapon system. Really? You'd need some help to get that working. Expert help. Did you work with someone? I worked alone. You did that yourself? <laughs> That's the thing. The AI didn't pan out in the end either. But I did finally get Sahelanthropus walking by folding over its upper body to lower its center of gravity. The first upright bipedal locomotive weapon system in the history of mankind. I guess technically it falls into the anthropoid ape category. I don't see the benefit of having it stand taller. On terrain with significant differences in elevation, like Afghanistan, you need a body that's vertically adaptable. That also lets it attack from long range while using mountain ridges for cover. So, making it walk upright was the most important... There's the transfer pump control room. 
The emergency stop button is probably inside it. That was the whole point of Sahelanthropus. But I was being pushed for results. Having the AI mounted externally would have been the fastest way to get it working. I just needed more data so it could maintain its balance. Okay, I'd go and stop it. I haven't talked at all, and I'm done with the mission already, so... Yeah. So basically, you get what's going on. He was developing, you know, um, the weapon and whatnot, and basically, you can kind of tell he's lying. I was able to tell right away. I was like, dude, this guy's full of crap. You can tell, like, he just stumbles upon his words, and it sounds like he's trying to convince himself of the lies he's thought up. It's a pretty easy mission. I mean, like they, they kind of noticed me. Like, oh, was that somebody you know? But besides that, pretty well done. And then we got this. Bodies. Why? See what breast implants do to you. Now what we need to do is we need to get behind this guy, go this way, shoot him go over here, jump down this way, take him out, take him out, and then we've got a little secret we can do so now what we need to do is grab that get over here it's kinda dark there we go is it in here yes open this here we go blew the shit sky high alright and now what we need to do is what we're gonna do is we're gonna ride the little container out of here. And you guys got me. That was pretty badass. I was making all those headshots. Bam, bam, bam. And there's that. Everything's still recording. Okay. Yeah. We don't have to worry about those guys. Don't have to worry about it. Damn, just like that. Extraction arrived at mother development Ooh. project has been added. Damn, that's a lot of stuff. Mission complete and how? They're gonna tell stories about this one, boss. Me and D Dog are like, mmm, man's best friend. Boss, we took another look into Sainer, the owner of the oil field. They mm. My back. Not United. They restarted the facility all the while pretending mm. they were the victims. One other thing. Sainer's Johannesburg head office is just a room in a multi-tenant building. The company's essentially non-existent. Three years ago, that investment fund stepped in and started gutting it through a series of mergers and sell-offs. And get this. The fund itself no longer exists either. It's a shell corporation. Meaning someone is just using Sainer's name from the shadows. But what about those strange corpses? Just what the hell were they doing over there? Okay, questioning Huey. If you guys want to listen to the cassette tapes, um, you can look them up. Because, I mean, like, I don't want to make videos of just that. It's not gameplay, it's just cassette tapes. And uh, I actually didn't like this too much. I didn't like just sitting here quiet while the videotape played. I mean, it felt like I was just kind of there so um i'm not gonna do that again <laughs> but at least you guys got an idea what's going on and what's going on with huey if you guys want to watch them people have uploaded just cassette tapes i guarantee you and you can look those up um let's see if there's anything going on i'm pretty sure there's not i'm pretty sure it's not gonna make, make me go to mother base hey snake there's i've that customized a walker gear just for you 
It features a silent running system, great for infiltration missions, and you can also summon it to your location. I've taken the liberty of calling it the D-Walker. It's armed with a suppressed tranquilizer gun. The D-Walker. If you want to add or upgrade the chassis, give the order from your iDroid. Okay, I don't think anything else is going to pop up. Pretty sure it's not. Pretty sure. Yeah. All right, so. List I've updated the mission, mission list. list we received a new job offer. It doesn't seem connected to Cypher or Skullface at all. But if it goes well, we may get an Afrikaans interpreter. The details oh, okay. are on your iDroid. Okay. Well, anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. Again, I upload videos every single day. If you want some entertainment, I guess. I mean, I'm not the funniest person, but I try. Um, subscribe. And yeah, I'll, I'll upload every day. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a great day. This is Tyler Tactics signing out. Later.